Hello, hello, and welcome to this episode of the San and Well Cap TV Guide. We're missing Max today, and quite apparently, it's obvious because it just took me three times to actually introduce so ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> so That's Max, right. you need to come back and operate right. this board for me. Right. Max is on his way back from Ohio. He lost his car in the hurricane. So he actually, my brother-in-law Mike and my sister Amy found a car for him up in Ohio. So he flew up there, yep. picked up the car, then drove to Tennessee to a wedding. Right. And now he's on his way back as we speak, just not quite close enough to do this. Right. So he left it to you. And he did and he say, let, would mess it up. he said, uh, let everybody know this is the first one he's ever missed. Okay, oh, wow. we're missing yes. Max. I so. don't hear anything in here. Oh, you don't? Yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Which one's that? I don't know. Uh, I, don't know. Uh, I can hear you, but oh, there you go. You can, can you hear me now? Ear. Oh. You can? And, oh, just in one ear? Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> okay. probably going to be that way. That's All right, okay. one ear is good, but one ear yeah. is better than none. Because mine's, <laughs> <I guess>. yeah. <laughs> you got it? Yeah. All right. Okay. So, all right, let's start. Let's introduce Laura. <laughs> Sorry okay. about that. So I, I'll just put myself down. <laughs> we could be in trouble. Hey, so um, we've got a guest back. Just a quick message before we get back to the show. We put a ton of effort into bringing you quality content. So if you would like to help us share our love of the islands, here are several easy ways. Firstly, you can support us on Patreon. You could purchase an island souvenir from our Etsy store. You can metaphorically buy us a coffee, which is an easy way to donate a couple of bucks. Don't you prefer tea? Well, I do, kind of. Also, like and subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all things Sanibel and Captiva. And finally, show some love to our sponsors. Let them know we sent you. All the links are in the description below. Now, back to the episode. Some of you might recognise yes. Laura Ball. Welcome yeah. back. Hi. <laughs> Second time guest. Second time guest. So uh, tell us a little bit about what's been going on with you. Obviously, on Laura. the island and uh, <clears throat> well, yeah. tell about where Laura works. Well, Laura works at the Sanibel San Island Post Office, and she's also a very talented artist. And she also had a work at George and Wendy's, yep. which is no longer there. Um, and where else? A couple of other places, didn't you? Yeah, I had um, some, one piece in the Santa Fe Fish House. I had uh, one of the doctor's office. I forgot his name. <laughs> um, I just put it in there two days before the oh, no. hurricane. And then you also you had your coconuts. At My the coconuts pack and are at both pack and ships. The pack and Tuttles, ships. Um, right. Suncatcher's Dream. Right. Which yeah. everybody loved those. You could actually purchase a coconut for those of you don't, that don't realize. You can actually put a coconut in the mail and yes. mail it to somebody. Yep. You so Laura painted it some by right decorative post right office. on it. Right. So we always challenge people to take the coconut to the post office <laughs> and mail it. <laughs> so yeah. So a lot has changed since yeah. the hurricane. So give us kind of an update. What's been going on? Well, we all know the hurricane devastated our island, which just is horrible. And, and um, you've actually been at the post office for how long? I've been at the Sanibel Post Office since 1995. Okay. So this and is actually my um, second month into my 30th year in the Postal Service. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, but I've been in Sanibel since 1995. Okay. And, that's um, a long time. I can't do the math, but how long is that? Do you know, Nick? <laughs> gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Laura will tell us. Laura, where's my calculator? Somebody write in and tell us how long that is. Was it 20? Well, it's not that long. Eight Come years, 20-something years. Yeah, yeah, that's a long time. Wow. Long time. That's right. post office. I've worked in a couple others, but that's my. it's my favorite. Right. I love the island. And obviously why? And you love your customers, obviously. I love obviously. my customers. It's been really hard, this whole process, being in a different location. It's been really... It's just been very emotional because I'm so attached to the island and I'm attached to my customers. And then when they see me, they start crying. Oh, I mean, no. we've gotten past that now, but in the first couple of weeks, right. it's not just me, any of us from our staff, they... They Same. get very emotional because right. they're happy to see somebody that they recognize. Right. So where are you working out of now? So we're at uh, 14080 Jetport Loop. It's up on Treeline and um, Daniels. Then there's a street called Jetport Commerce off of Daniels, and then you follow that around. So you're okay. kind of close to the Harley dealership. Is that, are you up there? Maybe? I'm not sure where that is. You don't know? It used to be <laughs> in Colonial, but I don't know where it is anymore. Um <laughs> So, yeah, so we're up there. It, the place that we're at is the processing plant that's been there forever, processing the mail for, I think it's anywhere from Punta Gorda down to Marco Island. But um, 
So the facility is not really for us to be there. They just made room for us because of the situation. Right. So we're there until they can get us. So are people back. picking up their mail there? Yeah. So yeah. anybody can pick up your mail. We're open Monday through Saturday, nine to four. So the news has been telling so something online has been saying to people four thirty, five o'clock. It's not. It, we are open from nine to four. My right. my postmaster already spoke with the city live, and it's Monday through Saturday. Nine, Nine to four. four. And on Saturdays, yeah? Yes, right. Saturday yeah. too. Saturday, we don't have window service. During the week, I have a little meg shift postal service where I can sell you stamps with credit or debit only. And um, But Saturdays, I don't work, so we don't have that set up on Saturdays. Gotcha. So, so on Saturdays, you can just collect your mail. Is that yes, right? you can go there and pick up your mail. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. But you can't have a chat. No, and you, you can't, can't have what? a hug. No <laughs> hugs on Saturdays. No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, so anybody from so Sanibel and Captiva as well and Four Myers Beach. Okay, we're so all everybody. sharing that corner. Gotcha. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. So yeah. everybody that probably doesn't even know that Captiva never had mailboxes. No, Captiva has no delivery. They have um, PO boxes. So right. if you own a house in Captiva, you are entitled to a free PO box to receive your mail. If you're there on vacation and you wanted a P.O. box, you'd have to pay for it. But the people that own homes there, because there's no mail delivery on that island, they have free P.O. boxes. Right. So the P.O. You... boxes at the Sanibel or the, no, or the, the Captiva, Captiva one? Office. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. But oh, they're uh, like they're enclo- they're closed right now too. And they're so... both. You're, so the Sanibel one obviously got flooded. Yeah, we had about um, four feet of water, something yeah. like that. So tell us a little story. We heard a little rumor. Or is this a, yeah, is it a, we're, we're trying to figure out. An urban br- legend, I think it's called. <laughs> About the mailigator. Right. So the mailigator, is that what it's called? <laughs> okay, so what, tell us the story. What happened? So, so um, one of my coworkers went in, um, Jim, he's a carrier. He went in with the postal inspectors. This is and, right after the storm, right? Yeah, How many so days after, is, do you know? Um, I... Not sure. I think it's like the week after okay, or two weeks after when they first let people back on the island by boat because he went by boat. Right. So before the the causeway was. Yeah. So they went in to assess the building. There was um, uh, building engineers and postal inspectors. And then Jim, because he knew where like the keys were and stuff to get in. And um, when they went to inspect the building, um, they went inside. They went to the other half of the building where he had to get the keys for them for like the blue boxes and stuff. And um and then he said that they said, wait, we have to get out of here because there's a gator over by the postmaster's office. So they never finished their assessment. <laughs> so they just went. And when he, when he first told me, I was dying to post about it, but I didn't because with the post office, you have to be careful what you're allowed right. to post. As a federal agency, obviously you have to, yeah, yeah, abide by their laws. So. so about three days later, I asked my postman, she told me about it. And, and so I said, can I post that on Facebook? She said, sure. They said, it's okay. So I posted about it. And within, I don't know, 24 hours it went it was shared like 800 times wow and oh wow <laughs> in a t- i shared it on my <laughs> facebook group I, it was awesome it yeah. was a great story so in a time where everybody was so devastated they got a, a good laugh out of yes. it and um it, i think it put a smile on a lot of people's faces mm-hmm. and when it was shared um somebody in the comments i was trying to read all the comments but my internet was spotty and right. i couldn't respond to people but Somebody said their eight-year-old daughter, her name is Claire, that she named it the Maligator. That's just super cute. I love that, Claire. <laughs> yes. So um, I did a shout out to Claire on Facebook to give her credit for that because that's what I named it, the Maligator. And then um, a friend of mine, customer of mine, um, Terry Cool, she said to me, well, you should be painting something with that. So I decided to drew, draw a, a drawing of the alligator and um, paint it. I mean, it's a cartoon. And, mm-hmm. um, and then I got the idea I could make T-shirts and raise some money to help people on the island. Oh, yeah. Sure. All right. I'm going to awesome. guess. Yes. Right. And Turn I brought you each one, but oh, I'm oh, sold awesome. out of every size except for large right now. Yes. Yeah, that's all I am. I'm very trim now. <laughs> I can I can bring you a bigger one if you want off, I'll be once I get to... my next order. <laughs> but this is the maligator. Oh, super cute. So he's hanging out. Oh, that's cool. So in my postmaster's office, we really did have that file cabinet and her brown desk. The only thing different is she had a window. But I decided to paint the lighthouse because I made it without the leg, how everybody was posting that. Right. And um, so if you, those of you that don't know, the lighthouse used to have four legs. It now has three. So... 
So I drew uh, the, right. and without the building. Right, yeah. And then the, the priority box that he's leaning against has Postmaster Maligator, 650 Tarpon Bay Road, Sanibel, Florida, 33957, which is our address, address of our post office. Oh, that's so cute. So how can everybody get one? So you go to laurajball.com, and there on that page, um, you can purchase a T-shirt or the art print. So this is Excellent. the art print. It's That's an eight so by ten. It's not matted, but it's an eight by ten art print. And right. um, and then all the profits are going towards um, local businesses and um, families that have lost so much. Um, I wanted to support all the businesses that were supporting me, the ones that sell my coconuts and and that type of thing. And then there's a lot of families that hurt. And then there's just a few in Fort Myers and a couple in Fort Myers Beach that I've been that I sent money to. So oh, basically, nice. when I gather a couple hundred dollars at a time, I'm just starting to write checks to people and just sending them. That's awesome. So you That's definitely know it's going to stay. All the money will stay local because a lot of times when you're donating to these charities, you don't know where the money actually ends up. So yeah. Yeah, I mean, I thought about if I should donate to Fish or somebody because they're great organizations, but a lot of people are already doing that. And I wanted to specifically um, give back to the people who have always supported me. So I, I really just started to pay attention to people's posts and who lost what. And and then, uh, you know, just since I work at, you know, since I have access to people's addresses, right. I just send them <laughs> to them. And that's, amazing. that's awesome. Good for that you. Good amazing. for you. Good so for definitely you. reach out. So laurajball.com is mm -hmm. her, your website. And I know you actually had somebody trying to scam. I think you're, yeah, which is so unfortunate. Yeah. It's really sad because I'm trying to do a really good thing here and I'm getting orders faster than I can fill them. Like right now I ordered last Thursday, I ordered 200 shirts. They're sold Plus, and I haven't even gotten those 200 shirts yet. So right. now I just put another order in for another 400 shirts. And in the beginning, I was so scared because I laid out the money. Right. I right. didn't want to do a drop shipment because I wanted to keep the business local. So I have Eagle Printing and Fort Myers oh, nice. printing it. And the prints I have being done at um, Frame at Lauren's, Ga Lauren's Gallery in Cape Coral. Because okay. Gal uh, Frame Gallery and Gifts in Cape Coral and Del Prado always did my prints. But... They got destroyed, so they moved their equipment to their other gallery, which is Lauren's L O R N E S Gallery. It's in Tarpon Point Marina. Marina? I think. Okay, oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, no, oh, exactly. Cool. Yeah, so I wanted to there. keep it all local. Right. So it took a while for me to get it going because everybody else was shut down too. But once everybody got up and running, I kept it local. So I had to lay the money out front, and I was so scared that it wasn't going to work. But oh my goodness, the re Yay. the response has been <laughs> awesome. amazing. Fantastic. Okay. And now I just uh, anyone who's ordered from me, I promise they'll go they out as coming. soon as I get them in my hands. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and you know where to ship them from. I'm guessing you're shipping from the post yes. office. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which is a win-win because you're giving the post office money too. So yeah, it's perfect. And That's are you awesome. still doing? You're still selling your uh, other art pieces at the moment. On yeah, so or? when you go to my website, there's um, all kinds of my prints. And I took the coconuts down right now because I just haven't had the time to paint custom orders right now because mm -hmm. everything's been so crazy right. and Thanks hectic. It, yeah. So, um, I mean, I did have a few people that emailed me privately, so I did take some coconut orders. I just took them off the website temporarily. Okay. Um, but, I mean, I'm willing to paint them still. Right. Gotcha. But my art prints are on there, all the things that I had at George and Wendy's. Um, I'm so you sad managed to salvage that, didn't you? You managed um, to salvage some of the I was able to pictures. save a couple of my originals. Um, okay. One of them, I can't get the spots off of it. I've been working so hard trying to get oh, the, no. the spots off, and <laughs> I can't. Anybody knows out there how to salvage it's art? So <laughs> crazy. But um, and then the the other one was really high in the restaurant. So she, it's the mermaid, and she. Um, I think it's called Serena's Shell, and she hardly had anything wrong with her, so I stopped the mold on the back of the canvas, and the front is in perfect condition, and I already have a buyer for her, oh, so she's oh, not on that's my website. Oh, that's all. And the, another service you did, you actually did painting classes, too. Yes, Can I teach wine and that? paint parties. I'm right. still, you know, if somebody wants to do it, nobody's in that frame of mind right now. Right, but, but they, yeah, it if would they definitely, want to do it, yeah, I would. get your mind off things. Well, and there's plenty of people that didn't get affected by the hurricane. You've only got to go 20 miles south of here, and you know, or 20 miles inland, and they're, right. everybody's still trucking along nicely so yes, <laughs> help yeah. support these local businesses yeah. right, if you can you and know? even I mean, it would be a great thing to take your mind off things if tell everybody what it is because some people don't know what the so wine and paint party a is. lot of people have these wine and paint parties so i started this business in 2014 it's called something to wine about paint parties 
and I supply all the um, supplies, the art palette. Uh, the so you get like a 16 by 20 canvas. Yeah, 16 yeah. by 20 canvas, and you ch whoever's hosting the party will choose what they want me to p teach. Right, everybody and then paints everybody the exact the same, same thing. thing. And I teach you from start to finish. It's about two to three hours, depending on the group and yeah. what you're painting. And um, you drink and eat, and I teach what you. I, I mean, I supply that? everything except for the food and drinks. Right. And um, and it's a lot of fun. And I come to your house, or I've done them at nail salons. Or I've always did them at Macintosh Books. Right. Sometimes in the back of George and Wendy's. Um, so, you know, yeah, definitely. We had one booked. We had... One so overbooked in October that we were supposed to do it two days in a row, the same class for so many people on the island at Macintosh Books, oh, and then no. this happened. So oh, we, oh, so, so we, frustrating. Um, yeah. So, but definitely, you can definitely still offer them in town because you live in yeah, Fort Myers. Yeah, I can so. come to your house. I have the tables, the chairs, uh, everything you need. Right, I mean, so fun. It's yeah, fun. we've done it a few times. Yeah, we? we have. Not with Laura, but a different. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. It's yeah. fun. Especially yeah. after a few glasses of wine. <laughs> yeah, everybody becomes an artist. <laughs> I just had um, you loosen up. I just had a birthday party for uh, I think eight year olds. There were six little girls. Okay, did you bring them? That and obviously no, no wine. wine. Okay, and I did it at my house. I could fit eight people in my house if right. were, anyone, anyone wants to do it there. If you don't want the mess in your house, and um. I had eight little girls. It was like herding cats with wet paint. They were everywhere. <laughs> they were so cute, but it was like, oh, my God. Oh, yeah. They, they had a blast, blast, and they've already declared they're going to do their birthday parties uh, next year, too. Oh, so it's awesome. not just for adults. Right. No. That's awesome. Very, yeah. very fun. So, yeah. So, what you, you planning on it? Got any big plans for Thanksgiving? I have a couple of my Sanibel customers. One couple is renting a house in my neighborhood, so I... Um, she invited me and a few other of my customers. They all are fans of my art. They have my art in their homes, and they've been, you know, really good friends. A couple of them I've had lunch with, so they invited me to their house. So Aww. there's going to be, I think, ten people, and it'll be nice because awesome. I haven't Sweet. really been able to, except for at the post office, connect right. with my customers. Oh, so. that is so. We, nice. we just uh, yeah, it's great to see. But we were out at the fish had a had an event on today. At the community house. The community yeah, house. So, I heard about. Yeah, that. Thanksgiving yeah. dinner type thing where they mm. gave food away and everybody every single person that we spoke to the resounding response was that it was great to get together with people and actually just bounce things off everybody because if you're living out on Santa Bell and you haven't got power and all the rest of it you're not staying in touch so everybody seemed really happy and emotional yeah. you know but right. just good to catch up with everybody right. you know? I wanted to say one thing um, I hope it's okay Dustin that owns the Sandcat Pack and Ship yes. yeah. Yeah, he him. just was lent um, the, somebody's letting him use the Sotheby's um, building which is between CVS and the firehouse oh, okay on Palm oh, Ridge yes they're letting him use that temporarily I talked to him this morning he's going to be open Monday through Friday 9 to 2 and he is able to mail things out for you. If you have a, a ma one of those mailboxes that you rent from him, he's going to have mail for the those people because he picks up the mail that he gets. Okay, so, and takes it out there. Yeah, but only gotcha. for the people that right. rent boxes gotcha. from him. He's going to have mail there on Tuesdays and Fridays. Okay, cool. But he said any mail he takes in during the day, he will bring off island he, oh, and, nice. and drop it off at an outgoing spot mm -hmm. every day. And... Um, the other pack and ship, uh, Rob from Quick Pack and Ship, I talked to him today. He's still waiting on the landlord to see what's what, but mm -hmm. he's trying also. So I just wanted to let everyone know. Perfect. Because a lot of people keep asking, you know, is there anything clo you know, closer? Right. And I'm not really allowed to talk about right. that. But. And I'm sure that everybody's asking you when the Santa Bell Post Office open. And obviously, nobody knows at this point. We don't. We I don't mean, know. We're trying. I mean, oh, yes. gosh, we're trying. Right. We really, really want to come back. It's, it's right. Just, it's not as easy as No, cut and dry, unfortunately. So. I wish it was. I wish we could all snap our fingers, but we all know in our hearts that everything is going to come back eventually. And yes. Can't yeah. wait. Yes. Can't wait. <laughs> I know. Yeah, we feel the same. So. Yeah. yeah, cool. Awesome. Well, awesome. Well, we're so glad you came on. We're going to keep doing this series, talking to, pep, to people. I'm glad you guys are up and running. I'm not going to let some little storm cat <laughs> no. set you back. <laughs> yeah, eventually we'll get some drywall. Hopefully. Yeah, we'll some drywall. <laughs> right. We picked up some insulation. Insulation all stacked in the bedroom back now. Right. Oh, so, yeah, we'll, yeah we'll we're ready. And obviously, Ed, you, you, you were not affected by the storm. You, um, I live in the so, so I, I got 17 inches of water, but it stayed. And so you come into my house, into my laundry room, and 
you go up the stairs. So it came up to the top of the second step, but it, the, those stairs kept it from going throughout my house. So I was really, really lucky. I had some roof damage, but my husband fixed it, and I had uh, I lost both my cars. Your cars. Gotcha. So, so you're walking to work now? No. <laughs> No, my sister-in-law works for Toyota. That would be a long, that, that I mean, would be a long walk. She would be. She's dedicated. I can imagine yeah. her walking to Jet Port. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I have someone who works for Toyota up north, so she had me. Uh, she had shipped she, down to Siena's for oh, me. So. Oh, super cool. nice. Yeah. That's very awesome. Cool. Good, good, yeah. good. Yeah. Awesome. So onward and upwards, right? Yes. So everybody, if you go see Laura at the post office. Well, She's you, open you for hugs. I cannot talk about uh, my mail right. shirts or any of my stuff at the post office. Okay. Yeah. So, so just reach out to her on or yes. reach out uh, to me privately. We'll also I can't do any interactions with that. Dustin's contact information if you wanted to right. use uh, uh, his Dustin. services. Yeah, his services, which would be awesome. Helpful. Excellent. And yeah, if you have a holiday parties, birthdays. Yep. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Yes, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving comes up this, this Thursday, so hopefully this will be out before then. Yes, it will. It will be. Because okay. Max will be back tomorrow, so we'll yeah, put him Max. to work. Yeah. Well, Max, you know you're missed. <laughs> yes. yes, definitely. What's well, this thing doing? We're going to see if he can get the music going again. So this I, I'm is... scared. I'm scared, too. <laughs> I might, actually, it's quite powerful. Laurie, what do you think about this now? I I've just, I've just, oh yes. Yeah. See, how he just found cut out off he has like a that. mute button on me. <laughs> <Yeah>. so, <laughs> it's, it's very good. easy. It's very easy. I can just All right, get, right. Get, Play get, the music. Get, there we go. There we go. Okay. Well, thanks very much for joining us, everybody. We look forward to seeing you on the next one, and uh, have a fantastic Thanksgiving. And we'll see you next time. Hit it. Ah, oh, you did oh, it. I've got it. <laughs>